Hey y'all, it's Fortune Frankly and welcome to Fortune Frankly Fridays where we do affordable DIY home decor. In today's video, we're going to be making home decor from different types of fibers, both natural and synthetic. So over the past couple of months while running this channel, I've actually collected a lot of yarn and jute cord. So I figured I use what I have so I don't have to go out and make those the central part of each decor piece we're going to make today. So with that, let's get into the video. So for project number one, I've seen these wall hangings everywhere. They look so nice. They're just like really simple to make too. So I figured I'd make it on a mini scale. It's one of those that goes like this. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Kind of hard to explain, but you'll see how it turns out. For this project, you'll need a six inch dowel, embroidery floss, and a glue gun. So first we're gonna start with our embroidery floss. I'm gonna use the lightest color first and I just wanna measure out how long I will need the floss to be. This will determine how far the embroidery floss hangs down from our dowel. So I cut 10 separate strings for this color and I'm gonna do that across all the colors. Taking my measuring tape, I'm just gonna measure where the middle is. You know, you don't want a lopsided wall hanging here. That would, that would defeat the purpose. So I marked off three inches so I can find the middle. And I started gluing on the left hand side of that line and then made my way across and glued the string to the other side of the dowel. And again, I'm gonna take the next string, glue it next to the one I just put on one side and coming on the other side, I'm gonna put it to the left of the string I previously placed. Not the easiest thing to explain, but if you do look at what I'm doing, I'm sure you'll get it. I have faith in you, I trust you. You can do it. After a little while, I got really tired of doing them one by one. It was just too tedious for me. So I decided to do five by five and it actually worked pretty well. You just wanna make sure that they're actually spaced out and not just on top of each other when you glue them down and that you maintain the correct order when gluing them to the other side of the dowel. And I only ended up using four of the five colors here because that's what I had space for, but I went and made it kind of an ombre effect. Now I'm just going to use a lighter to kind of burn some of the stray hairs off and also melt down any of the glue that's sticking out. And there's actually a small piece on the side that is extending a little bit further than I wanted to so I'm just going to shave that down or you can just space your things out better than I did. Pro tip right there. And after all that work, here's how it came out. So for project noodles, we are making a decorative bowl and we're making it out of some cording. Yeah, you heard that. Now this is a purely decorative bowl, it's not functional. Don't put anything heavy in there, don't try to carry it around and try calling me and say fortune it didn't work. No ma'am. So for this project you'll need juke cord, a small bowl, a large bowl, mod podge, spray adhesive, and some plastic bags. I also ended up using some aluminum foil. Aluminium, if you're from the UK. Hi. Hiya. Starting with our biggest bowl, we're going to use it as a mold. I'm just going to flip it over and lay out some plastic bags underneath so the table doesn't get dirty. I'm also going to put a plastic bag on top because we don't want to mold this directly onto the bowl. 
In the smaller bowl, I'm going to mix some of the Mod Podge. This is in the matte finish, but you can use a gloss finish if you would like. And some water, just to make it a little more viscous. That was a word I learned in science class in grade school. If my teachers could see me now, hmm. And then we're just going to dip the juke cord into that mixture. We want it to be pretty saturated so that we can get a nice good hold. And going over to the bowl, you'll see why the plastic bag did not work. This plastic bag did not sit on the bowl flat enough to actually make a good mold, so I ended up replacing it with some aluminum foil. And that sufficed, but I would still use that plastic wrap. This is not sponsored by plastic wrap. I don't know why I'm mentioning it, but I really wanted to use plastic wrap and realized I didn't have any. We're gonna take that juke cord we saturated in the mixture and wrap it around this bowl in a way that looks nice. There's no rhyme or reason to this. This was just a random pattern that I did. But whatever shape you want your bowl to take, do that. You can make it look pretty uniform if you want, but I was going for a more abstract kind of design. You may even notice this doesn't have a rim at the top. So a pretty unconventional bowl if I do say so myself. As you go along too, you can dip more of the juke cord into that mixture. You don't want it to dry up too much before you place it on the mold. After wrapping around the mold, I'm just going to make a little bit more of that mixture and go in with a bigger paintbrush and just paint that onto the juke cord that we placed. Now a tip that I learned after the fact is not to make this too viscous or too watery. You want it to be a little thick so that it doesn't run down towards the end of the bowl because it'll create puddles and it'll actually harden. It'll be like a film around the rim. I placed a plastic bag and another bowl over this one just to make sure that that juke cord conformed to how I want it to work. And I left that on there for about an hour before removing it. And I let it dry for about 24 hours. And I just sprayed some adhesive over it just to make sure that nothing comes loose as I start to remove it from that mold. Now you wanna just gently, gently pry it from the mold here. So just remove that foil, do it carefully, take your time, there's no rush. I'll still be here when you get back. And I did this before the spray adhesive fully dried. Now after this, you might see some glue residue. You can easily remove that by cutting it or you can use a lighter to kind of melt it away. And once you've done that, you're done. And for project number three, we're gonna be modifying a mirror so that it looks like a really nice wall hanging. For this project, you'll need a small mirror, yarn, and a glue gun. Starting with the mirror, I'm gonna turn it over and remove the feet from it. We will be hanging this on the wall so there is no need for feet or arms for that matter. Now taking some of the yarn, I'm going to cut a bunch of strips of the same length so that we can use them on the mirror. And I ended up doing this for the pink, purple, and white yarn. I decided to let that blue one rest. Now I cut about 15 strips of each of these. This is actually just slightly too many, so take that with a grain of salt. And all I'm gonna do is glue it across the middle back of the mirror. Towards the sides, I did start to curve them up a little bit to give it some more shape and to use the strings I had meticulously cut because they weren't going to waste. Once you finish that, you can cut the bottom. I decided to give it a kind of slanted cut just to create a little more visual interest here, but you can do this in whatever design and of course using whatever colors you would like. And here's how it came out. Oh.
All right, welcome back. Now, usually I ask which one is your favorite, but this time I already know. It's that bowl, right? It is, it is. See, I knew, I knew it. That's my favorite one too. But you can definitely tell me why that one was your favorite one. I'd be really curious to hear. If you're feeling lucky, you can go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. And if you're not feeling lucky, I'm so sorry, but I hope to see you again in the near future. I hope everyone is staying safe out there and wearing masks when you go out. Also hope that you remember Black Lives Matter and that we still need justice for people like Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, Ahmaud Aubrey, Jacob Blake, and so many other people in our Black community. If you want to learn more about the Black Lives Matter movement, you can find my syllabus linked in the description bar below. And as always, thanks for watching!